Greetings and welcome to newszimbabwe.com news. I am Makana Kamasengama. Stories making the headlines. Muliswa drags minister Ziambi into Kereke jail sex storm. Magogwe MP claims ZBC sex scandal. In the courts, many faces death for lover, children murder. In business, Miller say cyclone disrupts wheat transportation from Beira. And in sports, Musona now certain to lead warriors hunt for Afghan ticket. Now for the news in greater detail. Outspoken not an MP Timba Mliswa has accused Justice Minister Ziambi Ziambi of unlawfully giving orders to Chikurubi maximum prison officials to allow jailed former ZANU PF MP Mnyarad Kereke to have sexual intercourse with his younger wife who is not a prison inmate. Mulisa raised the matter as a point of privilege in parliament this Wednesday. Kereke, a former ally to President Emerson Nangagwa, is currently serving a 10-year jail term for raping a minor relative to one of his wives. But by dint of a miracle, his younger wife fell pregnant with the once powerful politician linked to the pregnancy. Mulisa threw the cat among the pigeons in parliament when he accused the minister of having a hand in the clandestine arrangement. The question <laughs> to the Honorable Minister of Justice in parliamentary affairs pertains to the incarcerated prisoners. Has government policy shifted to control rights of prisoners? For example, the former member of parliament, Dr. Kereke, is alleged to be impregnated his wife while in prison. And you also are implicated for having facilitated that. Can you respond? Minister Ziambi Ziambi denied the allegations. We are shifting away from a scenario where a prisoner is a condemned individual. We are moving towards incarceration, rehabilitation of offenders, correct them, integrate into society. The mentality that society had before was, once you are incarcerated, you are condemned. That is the thinking that Honorable Mliswa has. Returning to specific issues, whether I to be allowed in prison or not, I am not in a position to answer because that becomes too specific. But the thinking that the drafters of the constitution have is we need to open up more open prisons yes. where prisoners can even be allowed to visit their, their homes if they are not dangerous prisoners. Still on Parliament. MDC legislator for Magwegwe, Anne Debele, has made sensational claims some unnamed top BC bosses were in the habit of demanding sexual favors from their female subordinates. Debele raised the matter as a point of privilege during sitting on Wednesday. The firebrand MP demanded a response via a ministerial statement by Information Minister Monica Mchangwa on the goings on at the state broadcaster and how she hoped to deal with the allegations. Debel also claimed ZBC managers were practicing nepotism. The 2019 tobacco selling season started off Wednesday with the indication prices might be lower for the golden leaf this season. The highest grade tobacco started off at $4.50 US dollars per kilogram down from $4.90 US dollars recorded on the first day of trading last year. Tobacco Industry and Marketing Board Corporate Communications Manager Ishanesu Moyo confirmed the prices in an interview with NewZimbabwe.com business. The TIMB spokesperson said that activity at the sales floors was weaker when compared to last year but could not, however, immediately provide finer details on the case of such trends as he said that he is still awaiting information from officials on the ground. And the courts. A 49-year-old Harare man who killed his girlfriend and their three children by burning them alive after he was ditched in 2013 has been sentenced to hang by High Court Judge Justice Esther Moremba. 
Bernard Majandu Mucheka was also slapped with a life sentence for attempting to kill his late girlfriend's visitors on the fateful day. The killer boyfriend was convicted on all four murder counts and four attempted murder charges he was facing after a full trial which took five years to conclude. Court heard the deceased Lorraine Tietua had told your friend, 19-year-old son and employer about the threats which were being sent to her mobile phone by Mucheka before she was killed. In business. Grain Millers Association of Zimbabwe Chairman Tafadzwa Musarara says the recent cyclone Aidai, which battered parts of Mozambique and Zimbabwe's eastern region, has disrupted the transportation of wheat from the neighboring country. Musarara told NewZimbabwe.com that the organization has been able to supply up to 50% of wheat demand to local bakers despite the current foreign currency shortages. This is contrary to claims that Miller's representative groups entrusted with public funds are doing little to ease recurrent shortages of bread in the country. In sports, Zimbabwe captain Knowledge Musona is almost certain to lead the Warriors' side in their hunt for a place in the 2019 Afghan finals in a crucial Sunday qualifier against Congo. The Belgian best football star was among a troop of Warriors players who were taken through their paces at the Haran Tanzania School by the Sunday Chizambwa led technical side on Wednesday. Until recently, there were fears the lethal former Kaiser Chiefs sniper may not make it for the match due to a groin injury. Meanwhile, Zifa president Fulton Kamambo has predicted a 3-1 triumph for the Warriors. Speaking on the sidelines of the Warriors training Wednesday, Kamambo added that more than 10,000 tickets for the crunch match had already been sold. All the players are here. In terms of preparation as Zifa on our part, we are almost done. We are putting the final touches in a size. The preparations are concerned, but we are all done. The replicas, I'm sorry on the replicas. Umbro could not meet their deadline in order to supply the, the, the replica. So as for this match, we won't be having some replica jerseys. Kamambo confirmed the availability of the Warriors from its kit sponsor, British-based sportswear giant Umbro. To end this news bulletin, here are the headlines once more. Moliswa drags Minister Ziambi into Kereke jail sex storm. Magoga MP claims ZBC sex scandal. And the court's main faces death for lover, children, murder. And in sports, Musa are now certain to lead warriors hunt for Afghan ticket. For this and more stories, do visit our website www.newsabapu.com and our YouTube channel, News and TV.